you've studied introverts and, and extroverts. So I'll ask you, why is Donald Trump so attractive to so many people? <laughs> <laughs> this wasn't me, oh. I'm just telling you. We got cards. I did not see that coming. Um, well, <laughs> you know... <laughs> <laughs> I just think that there. It confounds there, rational thought. Too. Yeah. <laughs> Even more. No, I, you know, Donald Trump is constantly, really, all he is doing is emitting dominant signals. That is what he does. He's trading in them. He has no fear. He has no self doubt. He has no uncertainty. He has none of those things. And, you know, and, and you look at his posture, it is the posture of the silverback gorilla, you know, the, the head of the troop. <laughs> of the silverback gorilla and there as human beings there's a part of our of, of, of our heritage as human beings that is primed to respond to that and so if you are processing all of those signals from without really thinking about it and just responding to the dominance and if you're having a craving for that kind of strength at a moment of great uncertainty and we have all kinds of reasons for having fear and uncertainty right now you know he's the guy there, there was this fascinating experiment with a group of pumpkin seed sunfish that was done by the biologist David Sloan Wilson. Um, so he came and he, he, what did he do? He, he dropped a trap into this pond full of sunfish and um, the fish who were more cautious and timid ran away from, they, they swam away from the trap. They didn't want to get anywhere near it. <laughs> Whereas the more bold, extroverted, dominant fish were like, okay, I got to see what this thing is. And they, they had to explore. They had this exploratory instinct and they, they swam straight into the trap. So had the trap been an, a predator, in that case, that strategy would not have worked so well. Um, but a few days later, David Sloan Wilson comes back and he scoops up the, the timid fish who, he scoops them up with a fishing net, brings them back to the lab, um, where they join now their more extroverted brethren fish. And, and in the lab, it's the extroverts who do better, the more, the more bold dominant ones, because they're not freaked out by being in the unfamiliar conditions of the lab. Um, whereas the, the more cautious fish, and for those of you who have this temperament yourselves, you know this, like when you're in an unfamiliar environment, you kind of freak out and you can't mate and you can't eat and you can't do the things you'd normally do. So in that case, that strategy didn't work. So this is the thing to understand about every single species. You know, in some conditions, one strategy works. In some conditions, another one works. And we've evolved as a group to have all different kinds. And then as a species, we survive.